this is guitarist Dennis Tafe, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. And this time, we're going to look at a TC Electronics flashback to delay pedal. Uh, now, I don't own this pedal. And this is a, a friend of mine loaned it to me. Uh, he wanted me to check it out uh, for review. You know, um, and basically it has stereo inputs and stereo outputs, which for me is very important. You know, I, I do play in stereo, especially I want those stereo delays and stereo reverbs. You know, and a lot of these little pedals are mono, you know, which really bugs me. Um, now, this does uh, a lot more than delays, you know, and you have all kinds of, uh, by turning the knob, different presets and things, right? Uh, And as a pedal, it's fine, you know, uh, depending on your system. For me, though, I really like a MIDI. You know, that's the one thing with these pedals. Man, manufacturers just don't want to include MIDI. I guess it's more expensive, you know, to implement in a pedal, you know, but a MIDI allows you know, any MIDI controller to control the pedal and gives you many more presets, right? Whereas on a pedal without MIDI, you know, um, to control or change any of the settings to a different sound, right? You've got to, you know, bend over and, no pun intended, but you got to, you know, twist the knobs and that kind of thing. And, you know, if you're playing live or that kind of thing, uh, that that's very inconvenient, you know? Like, you want to be able to hit one switch on your MIDI controller, you know, change it to a different sound, change other pedals, all at once with one click. You know, you certainly don't want to, you know, during a performance or whatever, or during or while you're recording, have to bend over and, you know, twist the knobs to different sounds. Now, if you're happy with the limitation of just one sound that you turn on and off, you know, you could do it that way. Or, you know, depending, you know, if you're just playing at home, I guess, um, or recording and want a certain sound, you know, then twisting the knob is not that big a deal. But, and, and the thing I really don't like to see that a lot of these pedal manufacturers are trying to get away from MIDI. I never understood that. Um, Electroharmonics, for example, is kind of weird. Some of their pedals have MIDI and some of their pedals don't have MIDI and should. You know? In particular, that well, the Synth 9 is a great example. Synthesizer pedal, you know. Po possibilities of different sounds, you know, they can create tons of different sounds, but there are um, no presets, right? So you can't recall a sound, you know, in different sounds and things. Now, a company, you know, I think, you know, you have to go to a foreign country and have it modified to be MIDI. You know, I did a video on that a while back, you know. I don't understand why Electro Hunters doesn't include MIDI with that pedal, you know, other than, I guess it makes it more expensive. Um, but it certainly is possible, because the, that company in the Czech Republic did a mod for it, and now it's a MIDI pedal. You know. Anyway, that's my rant on MIDI. Um, and in fact, I have balked at buying a pedal that doesn't have MIDI. You know, uh, just not worth it. 
You know, I don't want to pedal with one sound, even though it can create all these other sounds. You know, a perfect example of that is Boss SY1 guitar synth pedal. Man, it can do all kinds of awesome synthesizer sounds, right? But guess what? You're stuck with one sound. If you're playing live or recording, well, you're, you know, you, you, you just don't want to. And then we're going to change all the knobs and remember, you know, oh, for this preset, I've got to change this knob this, this way, change this one to that, you know. It's just not practical. Uh, real shame. You know, I mean, I would have bought the, the Boss SY1 had it had MIDI in a heartbeat. But without MIDI, it just wasn't, wasn't really of interest, sadly to say. But I guess it's expensive because they, they seem to only put MIDI in a more expensive pedal. So that's kind of a bummer. I was, I was telling my friend, well, you know, I mean, I'll try the this TC Electronics flashback pedal, you know, and, you know, and try it and things. Um, and he says, well, you know, it's capable of a lot of different sounds. And I said, oh yeah, well, how's that? And he he mentioned the TC Electronics tone print. Right? I go, tone print? What is that? And, and it, um, it's quite interesting, really. Uh, quite unusual, I think. Very odd. I've never experienced anything like that. Uh, and what it is, is you have artists and, you know, just about anybody can, I think, can create their own tone print. Um, there are different sounds um, that the pedal can make, right? And they're actually presets that you can load into the pedal. And, and the way that it loads is really quite unusual. You actually um, take uh, the iPad app, right? Or I think it's going to be done on a computer too, but... I did it on an iPad, um, and you put it up to the pickup, your magnetic pickup, and, and you hear this thing, it sounds like, you remember those old, really old computer modems, you know, that made that little computer connection sound, kind of noise, <laughs> we'll, we'll do it here later, and that shoots the preset wirelessly to your flashback pedal. You know, I don't know. I, I wonder if it goes through the guitar cable. Um, and I tried it, and it really works. I mean, you know, TC Electronics, it's not just some gimmick type thing. It really works. And I found that pretty fascinating. Um, so when I asked them, well, you know, can they do like a, a hall reverb or something like that? He said, oh yeah, just check, you know, do the tone print there. It also has a software editor, you know. And, see, that's the part I don't understand. It can do all these wonderful things, but they just don't include MIDI. I mean, yet they have software applications and software editors and, you know, create your own tone prints, download people's tone prints to get different sounds and things. And, and but you start to turn this switch right here, you know, to get different sounds. Um, you know, but for example, a tone print could be a reverse reverb, for example, right? So you would go to the tone print, download the reverse reverb, shoot it to the pedal, Right, and, and that's the idea behind it. And, and all of a sudden you have that sound on your pedal. So that's that part of it is really great, you know. Now, I still had interest in trying the pedal, and I'll tell you why. Because even though I'm a MIDI 
fan, I find it almost essential, you know, because it's like getting 128 pedals in one, really, because usually you get 128 presets, you know, that you can recall with a MIDI controller, like that, you know, without twisting any knobs or anything, you just hit a foot switch and you're done. Uh, and the reason why it's interesting to me is because TC Electronic makes something called the plethora, right? And it's basically it's a little white box, looks like a little pedal really, but it's got five foot switches, five little screens, right? And each one is kind of like one of these. You know, not exactly. They have a flashback, but they also have a, a looper and other sounds. And it stores a lot of these pe pe pedal board settings. I guess you've got one, two, three, four, five different effects, you know. Um, and it's got MIDI, right? So at a, in an instant, you could call five different sounds. Or let's say you wanted to run you know, three of these with different sounds at once, you know, well, with a plethora, you could do that. Um, well, I have to admit, I've never actually tried one. I've seen one, though. I saw one in person. It wasn't turned on. <laughs> and I looked at the price. It was 500 bucks. Yikes. Um, and I guess it's kind of in its infancy uh, because they had a firmware revision be before they didn't have a built-in looper. And I guess now they have a looper. And the screen's kind of interesting because it's kind of a, a reel to reel. You know, when you've got the looper activated, I guess. Or selected. Anyway. So that's really interesting. Because that means, you know, you can um, get all these tone prints of different sounds and then recall them if you have the plethora. Thing. And so it's very similar to this. So I wanted to see what kind of sounds we could get for this, you know. Um, so I'm going to hook it up here and we're going to try it out. And hopefully I have enough cables to do a stereo setup. Now it's only going to be a camera, you know, picking up the audio, but, but I think it's a stereo microphone. So. Reverse reverb type sound. Here's another one, I don't know what it is, but we'll see. 
have the tone print here. Here we go. And here we're in the library of artist tone prints. So we're going to go to the flashback delay. And so here we got all kinds of uh, different presets here, or tone prints, I guess you call them. And we can actually load them to the pedal, get different sounds. And in some cases, you can um, preload um, different, multiple uh, little presets, you know, where you turn the knob and change the, the tone. So we can do all kinds of things. Let's take a listen to some of them. Okay. Super Long Ambient by Adam Holtzman. So let's try that. Uh, okay. Uh, super Long Ambient Delay. Uh, it sounds positively great. Now watch this. This is pretty interesting. Okay, so here you go. I want this tone print to that pedal. So, beam to pedal. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna. You have to hold it up to the pickup and connect your instrument to your flashback delay and select tone print. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna put it up to next to the pickup. Okay. Turn up the volume on your guitar and bass and on your mobile device. Let me make sure I got the volume up in here. Yes, I do. Okay. So here we go. Next. And you'll hear this little computer thing. Hold the speaker of your mobile device close to the selected pickup. done. Alright, so let's check this out. Let's see if we've got some different sounds here. Sure enough. Wow. set the quarter notes, I would think. with the sound quality, you know. Alright, let's try another tone print. Let's see, uh, and remember these are all like artist tone prints. You can make your own and there's an editor and that kind of thing. Um,
Okay, here's um, multi multiple tone prints. Room full of eyes. Okay, let's try that. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to sound like, but we'll try it. We'll go ahead and load it. Boom, done. Yeah. So I'm really impressed by how the fact that that weird thing of holding it up to your pickup actually works really well and reliably. Quite, quite surprising. Let's see what kind of sound we get now. On each of these, you know, you can change the, the number of feedback and the, the, the delay tempo and things. But here I'm just keeping it the same just to see the different sounds that are possible.
So that was kind of neat. crazy sound. It says it's supposed to sound like a robot. Bizarro. We'll try it. So that's the TC Electronics flashback delay, and here are my thoughts on it. Uh, one, I thought that the tone print idea of, you know, you can download presets to make it sound like you, how you want and things, I thought it sounded very gimmicky, you know, like 
like a gimmick. Um, but it's actually, I found pleasantly surprised that it's very, very useful. You know, um, second, sound quality. Um, really, really, really impressed there, too. I mean, it sounds great. You know, those are really high quality um, sounds, you know. I wasn't expecting that. I have a little Line 6 M5, for example. Uh, and while the delays are, are decent and things, you know, um, this is much closer to the Eventide H9. So I'm really quite impressed there as well. Um, so the different kinds of sounds, the variations, and and the tone print is a lot of fun as well. And you can tweak, you know, the, the param parameters that they give you. You know, you can change them and that kind of thing. Um, ideally, you know, I think the only deal breaker for me uh, would just be the MIDI and and uh, the tap tempo you know can it sync to a, anything and that I don't know I, I really would have to look more into it my guess is you'd probably have to go to a little bigger pedal um, but I think that the sound quality that it offers is really great and and this gives me very much hope, you know, if you're going to use something like a, a flashback for X4 or whatever, you know, it'd be really really cool. Um, it's not quite a bit, but in particular, the plethora would probably have this kind of sounds, you know, and, and the tone print that you could download into it. And think of having a, you know, a pedal board with five things that you could change instantly to five different pedals. And then have the tone prints for those. So pretty impressive. I, I'm really quite impressed. So for me, those are the only two issues, I guess. You know, and... Um, I haven't really researched it enough to see, you know, um, how it can be synced um, and, and tapping in the tap tempo and that kind of thing. Okay, it's got this yellow light, um, which I, I assume is probably for tapping in the tempo. Um, kind of odd, though. You only... I think you hold it down to be able to tap the tempo in. And so that really leaves only the MIDI capabilities, you know, and probably a, a bigger pedal in that line because they have a flashback, a flashback to and those kinds of things, you know. It has a distinctive sound to it, and I really like it. I think that a lot of different variations and things. And remember, these are just artist presets. So, you know, you could make your own whatever sound you're going for, you know. Um, I, I, for those who, who've owned a Line 6, maybe a Pod XT Live or an HX500 or that kind of thing, I remember you could go to their website and choose, you know, little presets of, you know, oh, this sounds like, you know, Andy Summers, this sounds like Alex Iveson, and so on and so on. You know, this sounds like ACDC or whatever. Um, it's the same concept, the same idea. 
Uh, but what it allows is a lot of variations of sounds. Mm. And, and for the price, you know, Evan Tide is, is quite an expensive pedal in comparison. And, um, you know, well, well, TC Electronics, you know, has always been known for their sound quality, so no surprise there. Um, but I'm quite impressed with it. Um, and the tone print, surprisingly, even though you put it up to your guitar pickup, which is weird, right? It seems to work just great, which is, wow, amazing, you know? Um, and all from, you know, making that weird computer modem, you know, like the old school modems where you had a phone handset and you'd pop it down, you know, and it would pick up that noise. Um, super cool. And I think they've got all different kinds of of flashback pedals and things. Um, yeah, that flashback two, flashback two X four, a triple play. You know, then you have the Hall of Fame reverb. That's a different pedal. You know, phaser, hypergravity compressor. So on and so on. And here it is, a plethora, all tone prints for Plethora X5. Now I don't have a plethora here to show you, but just to give you an idea, you can have a, a pitch shifter, chorus, flashback 2 delay, Hall of Fame 2 reverb, compressor, tap tempo, harmony, noise gate, vibrato, octave, plane And I assume that, yeah. So for example, for the Octaver, right, you got, for artist tone prints, you know, you've got basically 10 of those you can choose. And remember, these are just the artist presets. Um, I, I haven't actually downloaded the app itself, you know. But, I mean, there's just tons and tons and tons of them. Especially on the flashback, oh, wow. You know, Guthrie Govan contributed some. Ow! Kababy! How dare you? God, he's digging his claws and. Stop it. Here he is, once more. Kababy. Once again, can you believe it? Oh, baby. I almost knocked over my external hard drive. Okay, move, Shababy. Well, Shababy. Move it, move it. I guess I guess your baby just had to make his appearance in the video, didn't you? I just couldn't shoot a video without your baby somewhere in there. All right, so now he's on top of the computer. I think he'll be okay there. Okay, so anyway quite interesting and, and I'm really quite impressed with the sound quality you know because um, I can honestly say I kind of dismiss that well you know it's just a flashback pedal right that'd be kind of lousy you know uh, that's not the case at all you know and so I think well and the plethora would be just really really cool you know, because there you definitely have MIDI control, you know, of the pedals and things. And from what I understand, though, I don't think they've implemented it yet. You know, you can't control individual settings, you know, of each pedal, each parameter, I guess. Um, but they may change that in a firmware update. 
usually the way it goes, you know. Um, the other thing is the, uh, some of the other pedals, you know, the Flashback X4 and things. It's kind of like this, but a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. And if I, you know, if I own this pedal, I'm sure I'd figure out this tap tempo thing, you know. Uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Alrighty. So something to consider, I guess. Uh, you know. I'm making this video now because I have to return the pedal to my friend. You know, I've held on to it long enough. Um, you know, and he's right that the tone print really offers a lot of different kind of sounds, and they're, they're good quality sounds, you know. Um, obviously, some are more usable than others. You know, but don't forget, these are artist presets. You know, and you can make your own in the editor and things. Um, and I think some of the larger pedals ha do have MIDI control, you know, which would make a big, big difference for me, anyway. Uh, like maybe the triple play or the X4, I'm not sure. Um, you know, for other people who don't use MIDI, it's not not of much importance, but for me, very much so. Uh, so I haven't dismissed, you know, TC Electronic pedals at all, you know. Uh, and definitely, I was, I was quite impressed with the sound quality. Again, pretty pretty close to the Eventide. I think, you know, it's in that sphere, certainly. By the way, um, just a quick update. I took a look, and the flashback has this weird... Um, the way it sets the delay, for, instead of a tap tempo, I guess you strum your guitar and it figures out the tempo for you and then you've got that little three-way switch and you can change settings that way. Kind of bizarre. Now the Flashback 2 I've been reading does have a t tap tempo option and you can use an external foot switch for that if you want to. Okay now because this is a Flashback 2 pedals, it only has three locations for tone prints. So let's try one more tone print here. So I've got my iPad here and I'm going to go to the tone print.
Okay, by the way, I, I looked it up and you do have a tap tempo option, but you have to use an external foot switch beyond that. And your tone prints, you're limited to three. Right? I thought when you loaded a tone print, it changed all of the settings, but it's actually only three of them. Um, so there are some, obviously some limitations. However, um, here are my conclusions. For the price, it's really great because um, those tone prints are really good. You know, very, very interesting. Um, and mind you, I only went through some of the artist presets, you know. Um, you can make your own and edit it and that kind of thing. So you can really make this pedal your own. Um, and for the price, you really can't go wrong for everything that you get. Um, again, my, you know, for being able to create all those great sounds, you know, all kinds, um, it, it's kind of sad that it's only limited to three tone prints. You know, I mean, if you had added MIDI, right, you could possibly have 128 presets. Um, but with that being said, if you know the sound you're looking for, you know, um, then it's, there's an easy way to get that sound. Um, now, in particular, I was very interested to see the sound quality because this leads us into another product of TC Electronics called the TC Plethora. Right, where you have 128 different sets of five pedals, um, and they can be flashback to um, is included. There's a couple of other ones, and all you can save tone prints to each one. You know, and because it has MIDI, you know, you can have 128 different pedal setups. So that could be very interesting, and I certainly wasn't disappointed with the. TC electronic sound quality itself. Um, and it, it's a low cost, you know, alternative to spending, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars on a, you know, a MIDI capable pedal. You know, so not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. You know, um, I did find that some of the tone prints were better than others, of course. You know, and it's such an odd way to to load them into your pedal, you know, through the guitar pickup, holding the iPad up to your guitar pickup and running it that way. Strange, though, it seems to work. So I guess it's another way of doing it. Uh, very interesting. And yeah, I think for the price, it's definitely worthwhile. I think the plethora will be I mean, uh, about $500, you know. So this is quite more expensive than this pedal is, of course. All right, that's it. That's the look at the TC Electronics Flashback 2. All right, see you next time. Okay, bye.